Hello. Hello, sir. It's Derek from Concierge Camping, but you can call me Big D. Is that Mr. Bridge? Yes, yeah, speaking. I hope you're ready to have the most glorious time at your luxury campsite. I see you have a booking with us. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we're, we're, we're due to come tomorrow. That's exquisite, my old boy. You won't regret it. We do massage, lobster, caviar, and the whole works. I'm joking. We do do champagne. Does that interest you, Mr. Bridge? Wow. 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 Okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, that, that, that sounds great. Good, good. Now, by the sound of that deep voice of yours, you sound like a man that lifts weights and goes to the gym, and men that lift weights need to relax from time to time. And here at Concierge Camping, we'll take care of your every need. Are you in need of a relaxing luxury stay, Mr. Bridge? Mr. Bridge, are you there? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well, are you on board? Yeah. Well, what are you waiting for, my old boy? Get that booty over to us. Best I get bloody packed, then. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. What the hell just happened there? It is half past five and Teddy is awake. So I'm going to try and quickly put him down for some milk. I don't think it's going to happen. I've got a feeling this morning started, which from my perspective doesn't matter, but from the day's perspective in terms of grumpy Ted, potentially does matter, but we shall try milk, at least we've tried. If not, all day starts here, let's go. Guess the whole day started, that failed going back to sleep didn't it Ted, when she fed him his milk he was like, book, giraffe, book, cat. He's awake. Today we're going on a holiday. And I've just spoke to Derek on the phone and he is super excited about us coming. You should hear him. He's a bit of a weirdo to be honest, but yeah, he's looking forward to seeing us. So uh, let's be rolling this holiday, hey? Excuse me, you two. We need to go on holiday. You look very relaxed. I know it's a Sunday, but uh 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 uh, we're off on holiday. Let's go. Shh. Okay, Teddy, time for an adventure. Right, you ready, Ted? You ready? Thumbs up. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Time to go on an adventure. Let's go. We're off. 15 minutes early. To the caravan! Time to try and hitch this caravan up more successfully than last time. Brilliant, there's no one here to watch me muck this up as well, which is even better. Right, this is where I usually muck it right up. So, uh, attempt number one. <laughs> Perfect. God, did you hear that? You're perfect. <laughs> Never done perfect before. Right, time to try and hitch it up successfully. You right? I feel, I feel nervous to put away. That went way too smoothly. Well, at least if it falls off, we're still locked in the car. Why are you saying help, Teddy? I need the help, not you, mate. <laughs> that went so well that actually Kate turned around to me and said, I need you to go and double check what you've just done because I don't believe that that's gone so smoothly. So who told you how to do it? Well, I, I, yeah, teamwork. <laughs> Helps when you listen to each other, but we're away! What do you need me to do with this? Bring it slightly towards me. Okay, now I'm staring at myself. Back, a little bit more. A little bit more and up. What, a little bit more out? Keep going. Now I'm staring at the field. Back a little bit. Oh, God's sake. This thing doesn't move in a little bit. Oh, okay. Up, up. That'll do. Right, we are away. Hopefully, get there in one piece. I always get nervous coming out of this bit. Why? I don't know, it's just... Quite fast around that bit. Just I feel like it's just going to flop off the back and return back to its parking space at the farm. We are away! <laughs> okay, so plan of attack. Whenever I have to reverse this caravan at any point this weekend, you are going to exit the vehicle and I will listen to every word you say and hopefully it will go seamless. I'm that for a plan. Did you hear that? He said he didn't listen to me. <laughs> listen. First time for everything. <laughs> always listen. No, it worked well last time. It saved me looking like an actual penis that I did not the time before. So we've got to go with a plan that works. And that's the plan. I hope we only have to reverse once. And that's into the spot. And that'll be it. But oh my god, we have got a serious old snake behind us already. Sorry, pal. Go on, car. Go, 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 go. Come on, caravan. Come with. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh my god, there's a single magpie. There's two! And a squirrel! <laughs> Do 
think people just look at us and go, who on earth just goes away in a caravan in January? Like, okay. sorry about us, adventure awaits to the poshest campsite in the UK. No such thing as fair weather camping around here. No, absolutely not. And look at all that old snow, that's not good. It's like ice. Ice and caravan, a combination that should never go together. What's your prediction? Do you think we're going to make five days seamless trip and everything be okay? Or do you think we're going to have a hospital visit? Or do you think oh. Teddy's own G-Tube's going to come out? Oh. Or do you think... I don't believe it's going to go completely smoothly. Okay. I hope. Hold that thought. Could you tell me if I'm, I'm going to crash or not? No, you're good. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Go, 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 go! Oh. I think it's going to go really well. I support him. I don't know why he stopped eating, but I think we just will get through. I just feed him milk and whatever, and yeah, I think he'll be fine. Oh, pothole. Oh. Mid drive snack. On the basis that Teddy's not eating much at the minute, would it be possible to have another crack? I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. You can't just pull over in a caravan. The trouble with you is you're always hungry, so yeah. there's no resolution. Oh, there is. Feed me. But you're still always hungry. Ooh, bro. Hey, cubby. Is that a nice nap? Oh, I wish that ball would stop creaking. Creaky balls. Creaky balls. <laughs> no one likes creaky balls on holiday. Um, we've got nine minutes, cubby. And Daddy's on his tenth roundabout successfully. Woohoo! Don't care. Don't yeah. props. Mine? Oh, mate, that is. Why is that doing it's that? Because it's damp. I don't care. Damp balls. All right, are we stopping at this SO garage? Because I am still starving. All right, what would you like? Latte. Latte? Excellent. Anybody else want anything? No? Brilliant. Old MacDonald had a farm. I can see it on the map. There it is. Concierge camping. Five star. Woof. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. Just go and ask before you get to the I'm not parking in the way to block the room, so I can always reverse back with your assistance, obviously. Go on, your co pilot. Out you jump. Flutter your eyelid. eyelids. Eyelids. Say, excuse me, was it possible to check in early? So we are here, ladies and gentlemen. We are at. Concierge camping. We're not allowed to check in till two and it's now ten past one. So we've got fifty minutes. Caravan is not really a place to be able to just check in early. Kate looks lost. She's going into reception. She's in. She's gone. Oh, she's come out. <laughs> God, that was unsuccessful. This all shut. Because it's probably their lunch break, isn't it? Lunch! They'll be sitting out in there. It's all like proper enclosed bar and in the shop they've got a little bar. Really? <laughs> yeah. Bars galore. What's the enclosure? The bar. And in here they've got all tables and heaters and stuff. I don't believe. Go and have a look. I'm going to go and have a look. Wow. Look at this place. Incredible. I mean, although it's not open, this must be the bar area. Just look at all the little heated lamps. Cocktail list. It's incredible. And these are, I think I, when I'm doing my research about coming to this place, these are containers that have different different takeaway foods in. So you have a, must be a pizza one and a Japanese one. That's incredible. But obviously not open yet, which is slightly annoying. But um, yeah, I could definitely have slid a pizza in. Look at the state of her, I mean the caravan. She is filthy. Doesn't stay clean for long. So this is what we're staying in. One of these. So there's your safari lodge. And then we pull in there. And if I can't pull into that space, then I shouldn't be driving a caravan, because that is ginormous. Oh my good God. Look at the size of that. I'm gonna chuck it out there. I feel like we're slightly out of our depth here. There has been nothing but Range Rover after Range Rover after Range Rover. But motorhomes that have to prop themselves up and self-level we're dragging a, a dirty caravan on here i mean don't mind us but we're also here for a good time as well we may not be absolutely minted like the rest of you but 
we're here for a good time. So, um, welcome us in nicely, please. But yeah, those safari tents look amazing. There's the famous showering block, which everyone talks about because apparently they're really nice. But I'll... look at that. It's a bloody ice machine. Incredible. I mean, what campsites have ice machines? Is there a need for that much ice? I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe we need to get into it and have some cold drinks for five days, that's for sure. There we are, waiting patiently to come in. Just taking Willow out for a trot. This site is actually really small. There's only like 27 pitches, whereas some of these campsites I'll have like hundreds and they just jam as many on as possible. Whereas I think this one's renowned for being a really like upper class sort of experience, which is like nice, but there is a, certainly a difference in this campsite to other ones that we've been to in the past, which is lovely. I'm excited to see what the safari lodge looks like. Get all unpacked and start our five day trip. So, Willow seems to enjoy it. So is going to be in her absolute element. She loves a bit of water. This is stunning. Really, really nice. It's just in the middle of nowhere, which is amazing. We're looking forward to lots of nice dog walks, a few pub lunches. And we just hope that our little boy Teddy stays well so we get to enjoy these five days and make the most of this trip. Trust me when I say this, it is needed. We are exhausted and we also uh, just need some time away as a family that doesn't involve hospitals or consultant meetings or any sort of cancer chat you know we just need to feel normal for five days so we're just praying that he stays well enough for us to enjoy it all together we've been given our pitch number and you guessed it on pitch number 13 i'm lucky for sam hopefully it won't be though when i say it's posh we should see the monumental size of this thing that's opposite it is like when i say an arctic lorry I genuinely mean an Arctic what, as lorry. What, in someone's like, motorhome? Motor it is an Ar genuinely an Arctic lorry. The sides come out of it and everything. It's like American RV and some. It's insane. We'll just ask if we can sleep in there, Gaff. I'm, I'm shitting myself just the fact that I've got to try and reverse in front of all just these use, people. Range the... Rover, Range Rover, Range Rover, honestly. Just use the um, you, like, use you, move. Use you. <laughs> Especially as I've got to do it in front of those... That massive, massive. The reception's RV. open now, so we might as well go and see if we can go in. Right, I need to reverse. So right hand down a little bit. Yeah, but you're currently doing left hand down. Oh. Can't believe we're on pitch thirteen. <laughs> Did you ask for pitch eleven? <laughs> I didn't know because that big wagon's on it. Oh no! God, I hope I swing this in the first time. Just a caravan, is it? <laughs> God, someone shops at Lidl. Just stick with me. So what am I doing now? You need to right hand down it because you need to get it to swing back the other way. When I say right hand down, I mean really right hand down. I can't see where you're going. This is really dodgy. Right, left hand down now. Okay, now straighten up, straighten up your wheel. Forward again. When you go forward, go sort of... So I want to aim for that. Actually, just go straight, just go straight, yeah, because we'll complicate things otherwise. We want to carry around as straight as possible, right hand down it. Right, right hand down. Right, now go with it. Right, left hand down, left hand down. So we've gone too much. Yeah, go forward a minute. Yeah, you need to stop. You need to go forward. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> right hand down. Right, now left. That's coming in nicely. That's good. That's it. Keep going. Right, now you need to go right hand down because you actually kind of need to go with it now. Oh, stop, stop. It's wrong. I need to get out. We've got to be close. We've got to get... Straighten up, go right. That's it. Stop. It's not going to get much better than that. Did you hear that? It's not going to get much better than that. Did you see that big Arctic lorry? <laughs> That's ginormous. Isn't it ginormous? We're in, chaps. We're in. On pitch number 13, but we're in. Time to unpack and get the caravan set up. Well, here we are. And here is our safari lodge. Look at that. There's a little fire. Wow. Table. Perfect size. Right, time to unhit. It's always go, go, go when you first get on site here. Next stop, water, electric, heater in the van and get that all heated up, ready for Ted's. But thank goodness we've got this safari tent. Time to get the van set up. Wasting money on cures Forgot how to fix myself They say that time is free Then why is it so precious? We are getting there, slowly but surely. Let me show you around. So this 
is our log burner stash oven in which we're going to heat this safari tent which will be absolutely amazing especially in the evenings be nice and cozy let's bring our own log so they will charge us a fortune for it so we've got a tilly um nice little kitchen facilities dishwasher oh that is heaven to have a dishwasher when you carry that in full fridge and freezer and a ginormous table for 12 and there's only three slash a dog with us and then yeah we put teddy's play mat down there little heater beautiful what are you doing cheeky monkey 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 yeah cheeky boy Baby shark titty titty baby shark titty titty baby shark titty baby shark mommy shark titty mommy shark titty mommy shark titty mommy shark with all the van set up it was time to get unpacked into the safari tent whilst Kate put our beds together so it is now 3:32 uh, Tesco's click and collect was between three and four and Tesco closes at four and we just realized so I'm hot footing it over to Tesco's to hopefully pick up our week's worth of shopping. If we don't then we're relying on takeaways for tonight but yeah so far so good. We've kind of just about got unpacked. The safari tent is all nice and warm and heated now and uh, Kate has sorted out the inside of the caravan which is nice so uh, yeah it's just it does take a lot of logistics to actually get it all set up, but once it's set up, it's just incredible fun, you know. It's and we're looking forward to just you know chilling out and just having some downtime, you know. All very exciting, and uh, tomorrow is when the real fun starts. The dust has settled. We're all set up properly, and we find our feet, and then we yeah we can go and explore the local areas and the walks and the pubs and just have some a nice time. But. For now, to Tesco's it is. Trust me to get stuck behind a tractor, leaving us 12 minutes to get to this Tesco's. Now down to nine minutes. <laughs> it's all fun and games, it's all fun and games. I'm good, probably gonna have about seven minutes to pack all this stuff. We also need to get some more stuff from Tesco's, so the chance of it happening is pretty minimal, but we can only give it a go, can't we? Nothing ever goes straight forward at Life of the Bridges, but that's what it's all about. But worst case scenario, we just raid the local takeaways. This is a nightmare. I can't find the click and collect. Then they're turning the lights off in Tesco. Oh, good lord. So I've done the Tesco shop. Now I've got to drive somewhere completely different route. Click and collect. One minute to go. Always exciting. There's the click and collect. Are they going to still be there? Scan the QR code instead. Follow the instructions. This will be the one. Oh. Flipping hell. Two minutes past four. Was that stressful or was that stressful? But we got food! <laughs> food and drink in the back. I broke two non-alcoholic beers on the way through as well, so there's somewhere in Tesco's car park. But all right, back to concierge camping to fill the fridge, fill the tummy, and sit my ass down is what I'm going to do. Being a click and collect virgin to walk in with a trolley saying oh hi I'm here to pick up my click and collect everyone looked at me as if to go well you have to click and collect it in the click and collect part and I was a bit like well where's that and I happened to have parked over the other side of the car park and it is in the world's biggest Tesco's what a palaver but success wouldn't be fun without a bit of drama would it so just got to try and not run anyone over on the way out including you mister don't worry I'll stop happy Sunday because I was in a rush I just picked up some loose bottles of beer and put them in the, in the trolley and because I was running across the car park so I've done the Tesco shop kind of dislodged some of the caps so I propped them upwards in the boot and I can just hear them hissing <laughs> so there's probably a boot full of beer all over our shopping what a time to be alive Kate's going to be fuming when I get back and I've got a soggy food and zero drinks because of the fact that they're all burst in the boot <laughs> Oh, oh well, the irony as well, there's a Tesco's delivery van right behind me. Why could you just not have delivered right to my campsite? That would have been fantastic. It would have saved all that drama. Back to concierge camping to Katie and Teddy and Willow. Back to concierge camping and calmness has resumed. Back amongst the posh people. <laughs> there's my little muddy caravan. <laughs> we're home. Now we're all unpacked. There is only one thing left to do. Crack a beer. Cheers to new adventures. So cheers. It feels good to be away, that's for sure. Just hope it lasts. Gotta share the love for the, all the workers. Uh -huh. 
I tell you what, it's so nice just to have this sort of safari tent here because it takes all the stress out of it. Usually we have to put awnings up and pigs in the floor and oh, it just takes a long time. It takes a good one to two to three hour setup as soon as you get to a caravan site. Whereas here we are up and in within an hour. Toilet working, electricity working, heating in the caravan working. And this is nice and hot because we've got an external heater but we'll have that log burner roaring later. Only downside, Teddy's coughing which isn't a good sign. He seems happy, so hopefully it's not gonna cause any problems, but he's still doing Baby Shark and absolutely living the dream, so. Until he presents differently, then we just carry on and just enjoy our time and hope that the medication that we're giving him is still working. We've got a full squad here left. Got Willow, Ted, and believe it or not, this little boy's eating some toast, which is more than he has done in the last couple of days. So we are buzzing. Hopefully the safari tent is good luck. Right on cue. That makes us so happy. We're gonna continue to feed this little boy up and hopefully tomorrow we can start this adventure and explore in Bosham and Chichester and the surrounding area. Hopefully get out on a lovely dog walk. Start the memories. Look at that, chairs set up, ready for the, the big fire later. We're gonna attempt to cook our pizzas in there tonight. Once the cub's gone to bed. Teddy, the storm is coming. The 90 mile an hour winds have started. The tent is shaking. Willow's shitting her pants. It's all going on. Ah, oh, we'll be safe. We'll be safe in here. Oh, mummy's gone to set up our bed. So when you go to bed, you don't get disturbed. <coughs> Look at that. Mum and daddy's bed. Willow's bed. And Teddy's bed. What are you doing? You're getting into bed. Go on in. Ah. <laughs> He's just taking himself to bed. Got your little bed there, darling. Crazy boy. Good night, my boy. Daddy's gonna go and take Willow out. You're fine. <coughs> Happy caravan. Right. <laughs> go on, Willow. We're just out taking the pooch out, and these 90 mile an hour winds are no joke. It is blowing an absolute gale out here. One minute it's fine, the next minute the whole tent's like <laughs> feels like you're gonna take off and end up somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea somewhere. Teddy's just going down for a sleep now and then we're gonna light the fire, get cozy, and may even put the projector on. And just hunker down for the night and weather the storm. A bit like our last eight, nine months to be completely honest with you, but but you're getting to the stage now where you can't see me, so that's me signing up. So we have battened down all the hatches now, all the windows are now closed, and it is cozy as, and it is time to light that fire. Hopefully that is gonna make it nice and toasty in here. And the plan is to have pizza in the oven and uh, potentially watch a video, but I might put the projector and hopefully project it onto said wall and we'll have a projector even. So yeah, looking forward to it, but. Cub is just being put to bed now by Kate, and we can watch him on the monitor whilst we are next door in the safari tent. Look at the projector set up, ready to watch, I think, our Christmas special, because Kate hasn't seen it yet. We'll light that fire when Kate brings the lighter in from the caravan. Get the Christmas special up there. Pizza's in the oven. What more do you want? Perfect Sunday evening. Pizza turned out great and our first chilled night away had started, but the cub had other plans. The poor old cubby couldn't sleep in his bed or didn't want to go down because of the winds, if you can hear them. Um, so he's in his pram in the safari tent. Now the winds are so bad and it's so loud in there, so we're actually going to bring everything in and hunker down for the night. So 
I'm just about to make up his milk. Then we need to transfer him, do his meds, and then try and get him back down. That brings an end to day one, and um, we shall see you in the morning. Good night. Oh, that smell of morning coffee. That slept quite well, even though you have a late night. We woke up at half past six, and that storm last night was crazy. Caravan was all over the shop. We had a little flat right by our head on the outside of the caravan that was banging all day. So yeah, wonderful night's sleep, but coffee needed. With some caffeine in the system, it was time to do his meds in preparation for the day ahead. Well, hey, we start another day. The tent is still here. Hello, let's go out for a wee wee. Go for a walkie. Come on in, darling, let's go. Good morning. It's our first morning here, but our second day here, and I am sliding around the mud in my crocs. Yeah, last night, as I said, I know I keep banging on about it, but Storm Aisha, I-S-H-A, Aisha, was genuine. Like, that was mental. Like, we only, we only came to the caravan because the wind was getting so bad, it was flapping the tent everywhere. So we kind of retreated back to the comfort of our own caravan. And then even that was wobbling all over the shop. But Teddy slept the whole way through, pretty much. We all went to bed at half past nine. And um, yeah, woke up at half past six. And the fact that he didn't wake up with all the noise and in relatively unfamiliar surroundings, we we're really happy with. So, um, but today we've kind of got probably one of the better days for weather. It is horrendously grey that way, but blue skies that way. So. We're going to go to somewhere called Bosom, which is a really nice coastal town, which is really, really tidal apparently. So some of the walks you can go on are available in low tide, but others aren't in high tide. So we've got to be careful about that today, but it's meant to be a really, really lovely quaint town to go and explore. So I think we're going to have some breakfast in the safari tent, and then we're going to get packed up and head into Bosham with Willow and Teddy. And then just go and explore the local town, maybe even stop off for some lunch somewhere if we find somewhere nice. And then, yeah, like half of this plan, we haven't got a huge fun packed itinerary here on this trip. We are literally just going to follow our feet because that's what it's all about. It's just we don't want to plan too much to potentially not go right if anything happens with Teddy. So we're just going to take day by day and decide what we want to do on the day and then go and do it and have zero pressure to do or achieve anything, which is what rest and relaxing and recuperating is all about. So yeah, that is what we're doing, but I'm just going to give Willow her first little leg stretcher this morning and pick up my little Christmas tree parcel and uh, go and see what the day is. Roll on breakfast. I've just had an absolute nightmare. This is the epitome of schoolboy error. So I've just walked over there in all that mud and I thought, oh God, I don't really want to walk that through the safari tent. Ah, there's a puddle. I shall wash my feet. Stupidly, crocs have holes in. And so I've stepped in the puddle thinking I was doing the right thing. Now I have lovely, wonderful wet feet. What a way to start a Monday, eh? Who would have thought crocs have holes in and that will let water in? Ah, what a mistake that is. I am going to the shower block to see what all the crack is. It's apparently the shower facilities and toilet facilities here on concierge campsite are next level. So uh, why use a little shower in my caravan when I can use the luxury facilities that we've paid for? So, uh, Let's go see if they're as good as people say they are. Wow, I thought I was going for a shower, not a nightclub. Wow, okay, they're amazing. How cool is that? Well, let's get showered. We've even got a sonal speaker. There is no chance I'm using my caravan shower when this is there. This is a real luxury for caravaning and I'm gonna make every use of it. Four showers a day, coming up. Even the on-off switch for the taps are posh. Look. I mean, come on, incredible.
a wonderful experience that was. I mean, to say it's better than my shower at home, it wouldn't be a lie. Oh, I'm just made up. I feel the cleanest I've ever felt in my life. I'm not gonna lie. Every part of that showering experience was perfect. The temperature, the lavender smelling shampoo and conditioner. Just top notch. I feel like a new man. I even clean my goddamn Crocs. That's how good it was. Right, back for some breakfast. Oh bloody hell, stray sausage. One for good luck. Let's go. With Teddy's eating not being great at the minute, we were trying to introduce some positive eating experience, like eating all together at the table. Moon Appy's on. Just waiting for the kettle to boil. Come on. Sing it. Sing it. There she goes. Go on, girl. Sing it. Scream it. Woo! You go, girl. Sing it, girl. Sing it. <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa, it says, what a tune that was. There we go, Ted, you look nice and smart now. Ted. Teddy. You look nice and smart, ready for our day. Couldn't give less of a flying. Well, I think you look smart. Wish, 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 wish. With our tummies full and all dressed for the day, it was time to go and explore the local area. This was the well-known tidal walk, and believe it or not, this whole pathway goes underwater when the tide is high. It's times like these that we crave as the Bridge family. No plan, no expectation, no hospitals, just being together as a normal family. Katie and I have been lucky enough to travel all over the world. When you've experienced the journey we have with our son, five days in a metal box on wheels on a quiet campsite an hour and a half from home, when you have each other, is perfect and enough. We are eternally grateful and never ever underestimate the simple things in life. So our message to you is yes, explore far and wide as the world has so much to offer, but sometimes happiness can be right on your doorstep. And I think, as a society, sometimes we are guilty of constantly striving for the next best thing. But actually, if you stop for a second and open your eyes a little bit wider, and what you do have may actually be enough, and the hunt for bigger and better things can often lead to an endless journey in search of contentment that you may never find. down here to West Wittering Beach and it's meant to rain at 11 o'clock and it's now 18 minutes past 11 and it's blue skies and sun. We can't have some more than that so we're taking Willow for a spin on the beach.
So as I got to the end of the beach, I realized when I was mucking around with Willow, I uh, a glasses case that I housed the power cable to my drone charger had come off and ripped off my bag and didn't realize I had it. And the wind was so bad, so I had to run all the way back up the beach and find it. Success. I've sent a Kate and Teddy and Willow inland because it's wind so bad. And uh, I think we need a cozy pub in store to get warm again. But what an amazing day. Success. <laughs> Are you happy? Happy boy. Yeah. Now we're out of that wind, eh, hey, mate? Yeah, that was fresh, wasn't it? After an incredible day exploring, we got back and decided to head over to the campsite bar to have a quick drink as the evening sets in. Teddy, do you laugh? Ha 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 lit, ready for tonight's dinner. Teddy's crawling around like a maniac. Willow's waiting for dinner. It's all going on in safari tent number 13. So we just got back from the bar over on the campsite and we're chatting to the general manager over there and it was just really, really nice just to just be normal and just have a conversation with someone in the pub. We were the only people in there, which was lovely in terms of Teddy. Um, but yeah, we've... We think we're going to come back here quite a few times because it's just got such a lovely vibe and also we could come back with some people and feel safe. It's just amazing. It really, really is. And um, and also, about the RV over the road, 1.4 million euros that costs. He was saying how the guy was in the bar last night and he uh, was just buying every table, bottles of champagne, had earlier on in the week, had a two and a half grand bar tab. But yeah, really nice guy apparently, but either way, mental. But yeah, we are just back, fire is lit, so that oven gets warmed up, because tonight we have steak, mac and cheese, and garlic bread, I think. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, and we're gonna actually attempt to get Teddy down in his bed at normal time tonight. Well, relatively normal time. That's a lie, not normal time, because it's six o'clock now, and that's normal time. We're gonna try and get him down when he's ready and stop playing ball but he has been fantastic today and um, it's so good to come to the end of day two and still be here no hostels as of yet so we are just loving life it's been such an amazing trip and we feel ever so grateful just to just to be here experiencing it with each other so he's up to his old feeding tricks again Ted it's meant to be for you pal stop feeding mummy patiently waiting has come in and the baby is down how long it'll be we don't know but so far we're doing better than we were last night hey willow time to tidy up this place and enjoy our evening that just about ends part one of our stay here at concierge camping here in chichester in the uk don't forget to come back on sunday for part two of our trip where we continue to find some hidden gems in the local area and further experience what the best campsite in the uk has to offer thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and remember guys live for today as tomorrow is never promised <laughs>